So let's get to our main topic of the night, everyone. Let's begin tonight. First, with the decision of the federal government to spend over 267 million naira in its latest spend program drive, which will be directly uh, directed to youths in the southeast and northwest region of the country, and as it will benefit them from uh, over 200 million naira approved by the Federal Executive Council for non graduate skills acquisition training. This is part of the government's social intervention program, the End Power. The Minister for Budget and National Planning, who gave this hint while briefing State House correspondents, says that over 122 million is to be spent in the Southeast, while the Northeast program is to go up over 145 million naira. Well, another matter which gets our attention tonight is a statement made by the President in Dubai yesterday when he was speaking to some Nigerians before he left the UAE. Maybe not the first time, or he's not new, but he has reiterated it and given reasons for his approach to governance. The President Muhammad Buhari said that he does not care if he's called Baba go slow in code as long as he's not looting the country's treasury. He said he did not want to make the mistake he made as a military head of state when he landed in prison for being so much in a hurry. He said, let me show you, and I quote him now. He said, and maybe... Baba goes slow, but I did not loot. So whoever calls me Baba goes slow, I'm very cautious of historical antecedent since I was in a hurry. I was locked up. I'm going slow so that I can survive. That is the president for you there. So uh, we'll get some perspective. But one of the major issues also we'll be discussing is the welfare-oriented programs of this government. So they, they, based on what the government had give, uh, the fact out there, they did say this is what they, the, the breakdown of what they have done in their social investment program, 250 billion released since 2016 uh, to more than 10 million direct beneficiaries so far, 460,000 empire beneficiaries. But plus what they have done today in the implications on the economy, the implications of the average Nigerian how many people are really getting all this money and have it impacted on their lives? Let's uh, first and foremost uh, talk to Mr. Emokwe, who joins us via telephone. He works uh, in the office of the vice president. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. So a lot of questions will be first and foremost. The, the impact of this to Nigerians, this one that has been approved today by the Federal Executive Council is to go to the southeast and the Northwest. Do you have any idea why specifically this is directed, the 267 million Naira directed to these two regions, youth in these regions? Thank you, Shewo. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Um, let me mention that what was approved today is not a new program. Uh, it's primarily a continuation of what we started with the social investment program uh, since 2016. You will recall that in the social investment program, which one of the components is Empower, uh, which is a job creation component for Ni Nigerian youth, unemployed Nigerian youth, between the ages of 18 to 35, uh, it's, got, it's broadly classified under the graduate program and the non-graduate program. Uh, the graduate program is the one you mentioned earlier, where we have 500,000 Empower uh, volunteers across country, across the 774 local governments. Uh, these are unemployed graduates that are working in the public family schools, family health centers, and the agri development programs. And you see of them also uh, working as uh, PTLOs, the community tax liaison officers across country. And then in the non graduate program, we've got different components of the non graduate program. We've got what we call the Empire Field, that focuses on vocational skills, training, and apprenticeship. We've got uh, the Empower. Uh, knowledge, uh, wherein you have software development, uh, tech repair, uh, device repair, um, hard, uh, device repair and maintenance, which is the hardware component, and then you've got the creative. And um, so with, uh, for all of these programs, as you know, uh, the government of President Muhammad Buhari uh, ensures that we follow what is called the due process. And the due process of government requires the procurement, and for procurement that are both the setting threshold, which is 100 million in this case, uh, the Ministry Tenders Board, which is the Ministry of Budget and National Planning, is not able to uh, award that at the Ministry Tenders Board. It needs to come up to the Federal Executive Council. All right. Uh, uh, a big question here before I allow you go, Mr. Mokwede, is the impact, the direct impact. 
Is there an assessment of uh, how far you've gone, looking at the figures and the information uh, from uh, uh, the presidency on how much has been spent and the energy uh, uh, put into this? What is the direct impact from your assessment, if you have been able to do any? Just, just speaking for empire alone, I know the social investment involves much more than the empire. One out of every 300 Nigerians is an empire volunteer. That's the impact of 500,000 uh, engaged or 500,000 plus more engaged. Because when you compare, the, when you add on the non graduate program, you have about 540,000 of them that have been engaged already. Now, today now we have an additional uh, perhaps uh, 2,900 in the Southeast training. Uh, like you mentioned, uh, another 900 to be trained in the Northwest Automobile. So when you add that, you're talking about an additional 3,800 Nigerian youth that will be empowered through the Empower program. So, that's the, so when you talk about the impact and the reach, that's how much of reach we have. That's now excluding uh, the other components of our program, like the school feeding program, that is feeding about 9.8 million children in school, uh, 100, over 100,000 cooks engaged to cook this food, and over 100,000 farmers uh, benefiting from the produce, uh, the purchase of produce for the school. And then you have the G program, uh, the, the market money, the trader money, uh, the various aspects of the loans to small, very small businesses, and you have the conditional tax transfer. So when you really look at the broad impact of social investment uh, program, it's really huge, and, uh, and uh, this impact is also best told from the stories of all of our beneficiaries across the country. Okay, I must sincerely thank you for coming on tonight on the program. Thank you so much, thank and I you. wish you the uh, very best in these, all these programs, especially, and how it will affect an average Nigerian.